Resolute is a 30-point Windows machine on Hack the Box that involves enumerating LDAP, password spraying and using the DNS admins group to register a custom plugin DLL, which allows us to execute code as system. After scanning the box, we notice open ports for LDAP, Kerberos, SMB and some other services. In addition, the port for WinRM is open, which was missed by Nmap on this first scan. We continue by enumerating LDAP with the recently released Go WinDAP search tool. First, we use the users module to list all users. By providing the full option, we can get everything that is stored about the users. Since this is a bit much information, we filter for separate fields, in this case the description field, and can see a comment that suggests that welcome123 might be the default password for new users. This makes it a good password to spray against all users. To do so, we first need a list of users, which we can get with bash. Now, we can use the Kerbroot tool to spray the password against all users with Kerberos. Unfortunately, this does not yield any results. Because we can also reach WinRM, we are using Metasploit to try the same usernames and password over WinRM as well. After a short moment, the module finds a valid user, Melanie, with the password we specified. We can now connect with WinRM to the box and read the user flag. After looking around a bit, we can see a strange directory on C called PS transcripts. Inside we find a txt file that contains the credentials of another user called Ryan. We use WinRM again, this time as Ryan, and can see a node on Ryan's desktop that suggests that there is some kind of revert script that will undo changes every minute. A look at whoami slash all shows that Ryan is in a DNS admins group. This is interesting because there are ways to abuse this group to execute custom code. A quick Google search shows a post that explains how to register a custom plugin DLL with the server so it gets executed whenever the server is restarted. We compile a simple DLL that just runs a reverse shell on load. To create one, you create a new DLL project in Visual Studio and just copy in the WinExec line. We then upload this DLL together with a reverse shell into the program data folder on the target system. I'm using my own Go shell here, which will connect back on the IP and port specified in its file name. We then run the DNS CMD command to register our plugin with the server and can verify that this step worked by querying the registry. Finally, we restart the DNS server, which results in a reverse shell system. Now we can read the root flag and have finished the box.